Hey, Harmony students, this is Matt. Just want to let you know what's going on here this Saturday, right here in the sanctuary and in the Fellowship Hall. This Saturday, we're hosting the foster care families. If you haven't heard by now, hopefully you have. We're hosting them for an egg hunt, uh, seeing as it's Easter the day before. And I know you're on spring break, so maybe you're not going places. But what I'm going to ask you guys to do is show up to church by 9 o'clock. Because uh, at 9 o'clock, we're going to stuff Easter eggs. We have to rearrange the whole fellowship hall. We have to uh, get this room ready. We have to do so many little things uh, to, for this to succeed and for this to go well, okay? And so I'm going to ask, like I said, be here at 9. Uh, we will have different crews, and you'll be able to sign up for jobs after I kind of give you guys some explanation of what my expectations of you are that morning. Uh, basically, my expectations, I'll just share a little bit now, is that uh, when you get here, you make those kids... Uh, feel so welcomed. You make those kids feel so loved and so important. And the reason you do that is because they are. They are so important. They are so valuable, not just in you know my eyes, or but in God's eyes. And so that's the way we can show God's love this Saturday to these people. And so small group families, uh, there will be crews, there will be roles. But my, what I want you to do is just love those families. Spend time with them. Sit with them when they're eating. Talk about your kids. Talk about whatever. Talk about the church. Talk about the puppets. Uh, the puppets are going to do a show, like I said, 20 minutes, and then Angie's going to share the gospel afterwards. Uh, I might even have a crew who takes some younger kids off to, to draw and color some uh, coloring pages from a book, but uh, it's going to be a great time. What I'm asking you is that uh, everything leading up to the egg hunt and hiding the eggs, all those things are very fun, and there'll be some energy, but when everyone leaves, that's when you're going to want to slack off. That's when you're going to want to... Um, my ask of you is that you'd stay the entire time until we turn off the lights and everyone can go go home on their way, okay? Because many hands make light work, and I, that the last part is the, always the worst part. So if you can stay, I would appreciate that uh, more than you understand. Um, I know me and Shannon and other people... Leaders, we're gonna we're gonna be here no matter what. But if you can stay until we give the go ahead, uh, man, that would be so beneficial. And uh, we can get out of here instead of maybe an hour cleanup. We can get out of here in 30 minutes. So uh, just expect to leave here on Saturday from about 2 to 2:30 in that ballpark. I hope I'm praying to get you out a little bit earlier than that. But uh, so yeah, and then you can get home and get ready for Easter the next day. But I'm excited. I hope you are too. Show up at nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, and ready with a smile on your face, and ready to serve. If you can, make sure to wear your Harmony Student Ministries shirt. We don't have a student ministry shirt, but yeah, wear your, your green Harmony uh, youth group shirt, okay? If you have one. If you don't have one, I have some extras you can wear that day, some larges, I'm sorry. Uh, or if you just have a youth group shirt in general, wear that. Wear something that kind of distinguishes you that you are a part of Harmony Student Ministries, okay? Uh, I love you guys. I can't wait to see you Saturday, okay? Have a great night and rest up. See you Saturday morning. Bye.